Hey guys, my mommy joined me today. <laughs> guys, my name is Maria and I am Michaela's mom, better known as I am Queen Nee on Instagram. And, and I'm the princess on Instagram. And you are the princess on Instagram. So today we're doing our 10 questions. So question number one, what is your favorite educational TV show? Um, Major School Bus. Well, tell the people. Magic School Bus. I love Magic School Bus too, and I love that there's an old one, the one that I grew up with, and a newer version, one that Michaela can grow with too. Um, but my favorite educational video or TV show is Spirit. I love Spirit. I know. Not me. <laughs> I know. I'm a grown up, but I watch it without Michaela. <laughs> I know you guys had a lot of questions about hair. Clearly, I love to do hair. I like to keep our hair natural. <laughs> I like to keep our hair healthy. So um, I'm gonna save those questions for the end. We're gonna answer the personal questions first. So here we go. The second question is, what makes me a proud mommy? Um, Cause you love me. <laughs> I do love you. But I think the biggest thing for me is that um, I was told that I wasn't able to have kids. Um, and a lot of people know that story. Maybe we'll get into it <laughs> another but time. But you do have a kid. But I do have a kid. You're my miracle baby. And so I'm just proud to be raising someone as genuine as Michaela. She's happy. She's yeah, I have smart. a cousin. You have cousins. She's smart. Um, she loves, loves, loves. Layla. And that is your cousin. She loves art. She loves clothes, makeup, all things girl. And that was those were all things that I wasn't growing up. So that is the, that, those are things that make me proud as a mom. What makes you proud as a daughter? Um, seeing my sister, talking to my sister, loving my sister. So Michaela doesn't have sisters. <laughs> But we grew up and calling... And I have a brother. Right. We grew up calling our cousins brothers and sisters. So my sister has three kids, Layla, Lael, and Ricky. Shout out to them. Those are my babies. But she calls them her brothers and sisters because KK is like an only child. And I'm the big sister. And yes, Layla is her younger cousin. So that was and question number two. Time for question number three. Three. Sean, what's three? Where's three? Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, so, school is perfect. And oh, oh, wait. Let me ask the question first. <laughs> you didn't have to stop it. That's perfect. It was natural. <laughs> All right. you going to mess up my video. <laughs> okay. So, question number three. Um, they wanted to know what does Michaela like about school? So KK, tell them, what do you like about school? I like to write learning stuff. Like what? Like shapes, Shit. numbers, numbers, letters, colors, colors, and I like to learn about days. Days? Like days and, of the week? Uh-huh, and I like to Alright, for question number four, the question is, how do I get... Michaela to eat vegetables. Cause I don't like vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> so I usually disguise them in macaroni and cheese. I love macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I usually um or eggs um hey. eggs and then sometimes you know what I just gotta straight up say hey you gotta eat these string beans or this broccoli or you can't have dessert so I bribe her I'm not gonna I lie. I like string beans. You love string beans. Well, she does like streaming. So, sometimes I do have to use bribes. I know a lot of people don't agree with that, but it works for me in my household. So, I'll say you'll get chocolate milk. Chocolate milk! <laughs> <laughs> and then she'll eat her veggies. So, that is how I get Michaela to eat veggies. And we have one more personal question. So, here comes question number five. What is your favorite toy to play with? Kissing... And um, superheroes. Superheroes. Which superhero girl is your favorite? 
Supergirl, but um, and Wonder Woman, Bumblebee, and Batgirl. I know that's right. Give me five. Mom loves and, Supergirl too. And I love to watch superheroes on uh, on a TV. Me too. I love watching superheroes. We like Black Panther. Do the Wakanda forever. Wakanda. <laughs> no, this way. <laughs> <laughs> all right so our next five questions are going to be all about hair care hair i said are going to be all about hair care what michaela does to grow her hair so what does mommy tell you you need to do to grow your hair drink water say it louder drink water drink water water is so important don't only drink it but you want to saturate your hair a lot of you asked about moisture but we'll get to that so you want to make sure you always have a water bottle. My water bottle has um, a little bit of oil in it. Um, you can use different oils depending on your hair type. There's a rose oil, a rose hip oil, almond oil, or um, a vitamin E oil. That's and so um, those things, oh, tea tree oil too. Those things help Bye. the scalp to stay moisturized and not overly oiled down. Okay. <laughs> and not overly oiled okay. down. I need do it. Bye. Okay. Put your put your play phone down so we can finish the video. Uh, <laughs> All right. And not overly oiled down, um, but it does keep your hair moisturized. If you have a twist out, it's old. You just want to spritz your hair real quick. You can use that. Okay. Moving on. Question seven. Question seven. Yep. It's time for question seven. It's a question four. We already did question four. All right. So, can you tell people what mommy does with the with these clips? I put these in my hair. <laughs> I put them in her hair. Okay. So another thing I like to do. Everybody asks, how do I retain length? Uh, when I wash Michaela's hair, her hair is already detangled and put into either four sections or large two strand twists. In our previous aloe video, you can see when I wash her hair, her hair was already twisted, so I can get to her scalp. And it makes detangling much easier after the hair is wet. Michaela has um, coarser hair than me. Um, my hair is a, a lot more curlier. I guess and it my, would be. And I have a lot of hair. You do. KK has thick hair, a lot of hair. Um, Can I keep it to your mother? <laughs> so <laughs> these clips come in handy. Some people don't like the clips with the teeth, but it works for me. As long as you don't get it tangled in there, it works. Question eight question eight and you guys asked me how in the world do I keep my hair from getting so dry we live in Arizona y'all and my uh, daddy does it because he he went to the airport he did but we're not gonna talk about that right now <laughs> we live in Arizona a couple of weeks ago it was 117 degrees the sun bakes our hair literally so we don't want to over oil it but we do need leave-in conditioner and so mommy? what's up baby and I want to go with my dad to see his family. <laughs> okay. We'll talk about that later, not in this video. Okay? But we, I can go when he comes back on another day. Obviously, she loves her daddy. He went on a little trip, and he did not take her. <laughs> you guys want to know how I keep Michaela and myself, how we keep our hair so moisturized. We live in Arizona. We literally live in the desert. Sometimes it's 117 degrees outside, and the sun bakes our hair it's crazy like you can feel the dry brittleness in your hair it's ridiculous so what and i have to not in my hair because i don't like sun <laughs> she doesn't like the sun so what i have to do is i use two leave-in conditioners together okay the first one is shea moisture's raw shea butter restorative conditioner this is a leave-in or a rinse out and then i use kinky curlies not today Okay, um, some people use the lock method, which is um, <laughs> leave-in conditioner or oil conditioner and then a cream-based conditioner. So that's what I do. Um, I you can know. use this method in any order, though. I, I don't have a, a, an order in which I use them. I just like to use those three things together. This is my oil mixture, which usually um, consists of Jehovah oil, Wahova oil. How do you say that? I don't know how you say it. That oil. J O J. O B A, something like oil. that. Oil, oil, um, castor oil, olive oil, um, a 
few drops of tea tree oil and vitamin E, okay? We used, we talked about this already, the water. Bye. So, um, I keep my hair moisturized by using this um, at least twice a week. And we can use this. Yes. So, when I want to refresh our um, twist hair. outs, braid outs, our messy buns, our poofs, our afros, I use the Curl Love Maker. I just spray a little water on my hair with a little bit of oil in it and I place this on my hair and it's shiny um and curl maker is I didn't get to tell you guys that's from Camille Rose I love 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 Camille Rose not me because I love flowers that are, smell good for you and I was trying to buy a flower for you for your hair thank you but Camille Rose is not a flower <laughs> So that is how I keep my hair conditioned. I um, During the week, I use a protective style. Either I use two strand twist, I braid it up, I might have it up in a turban or a scarf, and then during the weekend, I have my curls out, going in a poof, in a twist out, braid out, bantu knots, or whatever the case may be. For Michaela, we do the same thing. She actually has sand at her school, so I try to keep it either braided in two strand twist or up in a very, very loose and ponytail. The sand keeps coming in my hair. Yeah, the sand got in your hair. So what did we have to do so the sand wouldn't get in your hair? Wash my hair. We had to wash your hair. But what did mom have you do today? Outside. What did I have you do so it wouldn't get in your hair? What did you have to wear? Uh -huh. But I did wear it outside. And the sand, when the whole is uh, oh, and did the sand got in my hair. Just a little bit. <laughs> so I did give her a hat because they have sand, a lot of sand, and... Michaela has way too much hair for me to be washing every day. <laughs> so, yes, um, I keep her hair clean, her scalp clean, and this is how we retain water. And again, I cannot, I mean, retain moisture. I can't stress enough, though, drink water. It is so important that you drink water and that you eat right. It starts within, and that's what I'm trying to teach her now as a child. Now I can't drink water. Okay, for question 9 and 10, I am going to tell you what we do to keep our hair or our style throughout the night. A lot of people who have twist outs, braid outs, they can't seem to keep it the same way the next day. I think that they look better day after day after day. They do change. So with natural hair, sometimes you cannot expect your hair to look the same way twice. So um, one thing I forgot to tell you, KK has this in her hand. This is what we detangle with. It's called a Denman brush. Some people take out um, some of the bristles just to, you know, so it's not so close together. It doesn't take your hair out. But if you comb the strands from, if this is your strands of hair, you comb from the bottom up, Ooh, you shouldn't yeah, have too much hair coming out or too much shedding. So keep in mind this. But back hey. to what we do to keep our hair <laughs> safe at night. This is a satin. <laughs> It's not a satin bonnet, but it's a, a satin head wrap that I use on Michaela's hair because usually her hair is braided during the week. So I use this. We also have satin pillows. Um, I wear a bonnet, but Michaela doesn't wear it too much because it always comes off her head. So for kids, I wouldn't suggest a bonnet. Um, and I would always suggest protective styles during the week. I know we think it's cute when their hair is out and... But, I mean, Michaela is five years old, and what do you like to do? What did mommy tell you always not to do? What what aren't you supposed to put your, in your hair? Um, nothing else. Nothing else, but your hands. They constantly touch your hands. Every time you touch your hair, you are taking moisture away from it. So, I don't allow her to play in her hair, but she's five years old. It happens. So... And you see me sometimes. I see her sometimes. I've caught her several times playing in her hair. So we try to keep her hands out of her hair. So during the week, Michaela's hair is genuinely, generally it's up. So again, stuff like this, um, it's very loose, it's a poof. Um, this was a twist out that happened to be wet. So the next question, because I'm gonna combine nine and 10, was what do you do if your hairstyle that you intended doesn't work, like a twist out or a braid out? So, Michaela, like we discussed, discussed before, got sand in her hair, and I had to wash her hair. Her hair is so thick, it takes so long to dry. So, I went to take out the braids so she could have this bomb braid out for this video, and it was 
so wet. <laughs> it was so wet. And the braids was looking poofy. Some of it was curly. Like, you know, we had some decent pieces. But, I mean, even these little strands right here, they just, you know, <laughs> barely working. <laughs> so, I put her hair in two poofs. Um, and what I did was I made them really, really loose. I do not put the hair ties tight. And I make it loose so that it's not pulling at her edges. She can play. She's cute. And then tomorrow, we're going to braid this baby back up. You want your hair braided? No. Nope. I want my hair down. I want my hair out. She loves having her hair out. So we'll see. Maybe we'll show you what we decide to do on our next video. Yo. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video. Thank you so much for watching Kay's Crazy World and her crazy mom. Uh, we enjoyed answering the 10 questions, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow KK on Instagram at K's Crazy World. And you can follow me at I Am Queenie. And I'm Princess. <laughs> I love princesses. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to K's Crazy World and follow us on Instagram.